What's up guys, this is the MBA Professor here. Um, I had a two package mail day come in this past week, uh, past couple of days. Uh, one from eBay and one from a YouTuber, so I'll get right into it. Start off with the eBay purchase. Uh, real nice Hall of Fame autograph of Dr. J, uh, Julius Irving. Really nice on card autograph, really nice design, mint condition card. Uh, really happy to pick this up. So, let me know if you have any interest in it. And then the second package, I made a trade with KB Rules 2424. Here's the note he sent. Um, really appreciate the trade. He did send extras for the win. I really appreciated that. Um, Lance Stevenson autograph and a Landry Fields duel autograph. Really nice card. And then a real nice Bill Sharman on card autograph. Um, nice Celtics legend right there. So let me know if you're interested in those. And then the trade was for 17 of the draft redemption cards. Uh, there are three gold standard ones and then 14 of uh, the limited ones. I believe there are four duplicates, so there are uh, 13 different ones in here. Um, let me know if I, you think I should trade them, I mean if I should sell them on eBay or whether I should keep them. Um, I'm not really sure what I want to do yet because I know if, like, if I could sell them, maybe I could get that money to buy um, like a Kyrie Irving autograph because with only having 13 out of 35, that's, I mean, that's, thir that's, that's over like a 33% chance. but. I mean, if I don't get Kyrie Irving and if, the, and, the, and if they're all kind of like scrubs, it's kind of, you know what I mean, it's kind of like pointless. So, um, let me know if, what, like, your suggestions, what do you think I should do. Um, really would appreciate it. Whether or not I should uh, sell them or keep them. If I sell them, I'll probably divvy them out into three lots. Uh, I probably would do it that way because there's 17 of them here. A um, lot of six and then it's a lot of, yeah, so I think I might do that. Um, but just let me know. If you're, inter if you're interested in buying them, uh, feel free to make an offer. Uh, I do have a price in mind, so um, just let me know. Shoot me a PM or a comment below. So uh, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Like I said, let me know what you think I should do with the um, draft redemption cards. Um, and also another thing, um, I'm not sure how Panini is doing this because... I figured that they they have to have the corresponding player with the car already, otherwise it'd take a ridiculous amount of time to produce the cards. Um, I mean, I don't think they can just have the cards sitting there with blank players on it and then just add those on and then... So, I don't know, I kind of feel like that they're already chosen, almost. And I, don't, I thought it was supposed to be like a live draft where they, like, you know, they, they draft it or they do something to... Um, yeah, okay, maybe it, no, maybe it is they're just revealing the thing. Uh, I guess that makes sense, because otherwise it'd take too long. But, so I guess they already know who Kyrie Irving is, like what card he'll be. So, um, yeah, wonder who that'll be. But, uh, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you have any interest in these cards. Um, please subscribe. Please go give KB Rules 2424 sub uh, subscribe to him as well. Uh, he has lots of nice stuff. He d collects, obviously, collects Kobe. So go check him out, guys. Go give him a sub if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of the weekend, and peace.